This is Bora Hands Growers team bus for the 2017 Giro d'Italia. It's one of two they have. Let's take a look. Right, so let's have a look at the Bora Hands Grower bus. If I go right first, I think. So, the very first thing that you see on these buses is this is the team meeting area. So there's probably seating for pretty much all nine of the riders here at the Giro or any other Grand Tour. And it's just where they can get their last minute kind of meeting notes, that sort of thing, exactly for their race strategy, what they're gonna be doing on the day. And they probably flash up a bit of the information on that screen behind. Moving forward, this is the seating area for travel. So nine seats, nine riders. Each rider has kind of a bit of space just to store their stuff here. So we've got the riders helmets. Very custom, very pro. This is Lucas Postelberger's one. Then we also have shoes and stuff knocking around. Again, I think these might be Postelberger's shoes, but he has got the custom Austrian flag boa dials on those. Moving even further forward, these are the seats with the kind of most leg room. These are the ones you can really spread out. Custom Bora hands grower curtains. The Bora team do have a very, very well equipped kitchen truck with a Rocket Espresso coffee machine. This is for when the riders are more on the move or just kind of that last minute caffeine hit before the start. So they've got a DeLonghi coffee machine. I think it's bean to cup. You can see that. Espresso Roma, very appropriate for a race like the Giro in Italy. Got a few little sugars, snacks. Got stroop waffles from Holland. Very, very nice. I really like those. And then these are, that's the control center for all the TV screens. And then I'm guessing this is the fridge or the freezer. That's the freezer. This is the fridge. So this is where kind of the little snacks pick me ups for either before or after the race. So they're a big fan of the blood orange San Pellegrinos. They are very nice. Got some sparkling water, little milks for the coffees. So just the sort of stuff that after a really hot day in the saddle here at the Giro, you will probably need or want. We have got the last minute snack center really, and the Hoover. So they've got a little Hoover to kind of Hoover up any mess, but Bora Hands Grow a team sponsored by High Five. So they are racked out with all of the High Five nutrition stuff there. When you're about to go to the start of a race, grab a couple of those, fill your pockets up and get going. In here, more food. Oh cool, got cereals, rice cakes, coconut juice, healthy stuff that's easy to eat and easy on the stomach. In here, podium bags and radios. So this does what it says on the tin, it has a podium bag. Moving back from here, we've got, I guess this is almost a dressing room for the riders. So this is, I've said that those seats are where they chill out before a race, but they probably also chill out here. So every rider at this race has a spot. You can just, I guess the swan years and the bus driver change the labels. I don't know how they draw lots for these spots. Jose Mendes, Portuguese champion. Let's put custom helmet there. These machines are quite interesting. So they were telling me earlier that these machines are recovery machines, but the riders will lie here and immediately after the race for 30 minutes, they'll receive that and they feel that it helps them to recover and be fresh the next day. Moving backwards, Hands Grower is a kitchen and bathrooms fitting company. So it is fitting that when Bora Hands Grower became a World Tour team, they fitted out this bus with hands grower kit. So we've got two hands grower showers in there, the traditional European team double shower. Then in here, believe it or not, WC, there's the bathroom. Probably a queue for that before the races on some days. So before we end this one, we're just gonna check out their brand new kitchen truck too. Follow me. Wow, this is very cool. So this is the kitchen truck. So it is where the riders, chill out once they get back to the hotel after each stage, so once the bus has dropped them there, and it's where they eat all of their meals. So it is really designed just to be as comfortable and as home-like as possible for the riders. And there are some very, very cool touches here. So these tables fold out to get even bigger. Very, very solid wood. We've got all the little seasonings and stuff up top here. So moving back, we've got the Rocket Espresso machine. Not, we don't have one of those on the bus. We've got a smaller coffee machine on the bus, but we have a very nice, very polished Rocket Espresso machine there. I'm not gonna make a cappuccino, it's a bit too late in the day for that. Just over there, facing me, we've got a huge TV screen and we've got a music system as well. So apparently the riders can Bluetooth their own music or their own kind of videos onto that. So this is quite obviously the kitchen area. I'm gonna try and not to disturb chefs. So you've got the Bora cooking system, Bora professional cooking system. Bora, of course, are one of the sponsors there. And also at the back, Hands Grower have also equipped the bus with mixers and stuff like that too. It's actually very cool. It's better equipped than any kitchen I will 
probably ever working myself. Smells very good, I don't know what's cooking. So there was a tour of the Bora Hamsgrohe team bus. I had a really quick look inside their brand new kitchen truck for 2017. Please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, just click on our logo, which is on screen right now, to see all of our bus tours in one place. Click right there. And to see all of our videos from the 2017 Giro d'Italia, just click there.